macOS and Linux, two operating systems that share the same Unix roots, yet couldn't be more different. One is sleek, polished, and seamlessly integrated into Apple's ecosystem. The other is open, free, and endlessly customizable. Most people see macOS as the professional's choice and Linux as the hacker's playground, but the truth runs deeper than that. Today, we're breaking down how these two systems differ, not just in design or performance, but in philosophy. From control to privacy, from freedom to polish, this is macOS versus Linux. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one truly fits you. At their core, macOS and Linux may look similar. Both are Unix-based, both prioritize stability, and both deliver powerful command line environments. But the real difference lies in their philosophy. macOS is built on Darwin, a Unix-like foundation derived from BSD, but Apple has layered it with proprietary software and closed frameworks. Every visual element, from Finder to the dock, is tightly controlled by Apple to ensure a seamless, polished experience. This means macOS users enjoy a system that just works, but with limited freedom to modify or customize its internals. Linux, on the other hand, represents the opposite ideology. It's built around open source principles, where anyone can view, modify, and share the code. There's no single owner, only a global community maintaining and improving it. Users can choose from hundreds of distributions, customize kernels, and even build their own OS from scratch. This freedom, however, comes with a learning curve. Unlike macOS, which hides complexity, Linux puts you in full control, every command, every configuration. In short, macOS is a walled garden, beautifully maintained but closed. Linux is an open world, complex, vast, and entirely yours to explore. When it comes to design, macOS and Linux follow completely different paths. macOS is all about polish, consistency, and control. Every pixel, every transition, and every sound is part of Apple's carefully crafted ecosystem. The design language is unified across all Apple devices, from iPhones to MacBooks, giving users a sense of effortless familiarity. You don't have to think about how things work. They simply do. That's Apple's strength, a system where the design serves the user seamlessly, but only within Apple's boundaries. Linux, meanwhile, celebrates personalization and creativity. There is no single look for Linux. Instead, you get an infinite range of possibilities. You can pick from desktop environments like GNOME, KDE Plasma, or XFCE, each offering different layouts, themes, and workflows. Don't like your taskbar at the bottom? Move it. Want a macOS-style dock or a Windows-like interface? You can have both or create something entirely new. In essence, macOS offers a unified experience where design choices are made for you, while Linux offers a limitless playground where design choices are made by you. One gives comfort through uniformity, the other gives identity through customization. The biggest philosophical divide between macOS and Linux lies in control and privacy. With macOS, Apple prioritizes user safety and system integrity, but that security often comes at the cost of control. Apple decides when your system updates, what apps are allowed through Gatekeeper, and how deeply you can access your own files. It's a closed ecosystem designed for reliability, but it also means users must trust Apple with their data, cloud syncs, and even telemetry features that quietly report system usage back to Apple's servers. In short, you're safe, but supervised. Linux, in contrast, puts you in the driver's seat. There are no background data collectors, no hidden restrictions, and no forced updates. You decide what runs, when it runs, and how it behaves. Everything is transparent because the source code is open. Anyone can inspect it. This makes Linux a favorite among privacy advocates, security professionals, and developers who value freedom over convenience. Where macOS offers security through Apple's control, Linux delivers security through transparency. It's the difference between living in a protected home where someone else holds the keys and building your own fortress where you hold them all. In the end, macOS is about comfort and cohesion, a system built to work perfectly within Apple's world. Linux, on the other hand, is about freedom and individuality, a system that lets you shape your world however you like. Neither is better for everyone. They simply serve different kinds of users. If you want control, privacy, and customization, Linux is your playground. If you want simplicity, stability, and design harmony, macOS is your home. 
So which one defines your digital identity? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep tech stories.